Hello, I'm Dr. Ryan Olson, an investigator within the Oregon Healthy Workforce Center and director of the COMPASS program for home care workers. And today I'm here to help you get a feeling for what this research is all about. Our partners are the SEIU Local 503 and the Oregon Home Care Commission. And a friend at the commission is fond of saying that home care is a low tech but high touch occupation. And these workers help society's most vulnerable citizens stay in their homes and have a higher quality of life. But these workers also lack traditional safety and health support structures that are, are available for most workers and have an injury rate that is nearly four times the U.S. average. And that's why the COMPASS program was designed, to bring these workers together, connect them to each other, and impact their total worker health. So next we're going to visit my house briefly, and then we'll come back here to my office to wrap things up. In home care, the workplace is a person's home. And not every home has an occupational health and safety specialist like me living inside of it. The job can be stressful and really emotionally demanding, and home care workers are exposed to dangerous tasks like helping clients with mobility. So we're going to go inside the house, and my daughter is going to help demonstrate a few of the tools we introduce home care workers to. A flexi disc reduces friction and can help people rotate in a seated position. This can help folks get in and out of cars. Abby's going to demonstrate how it works. Now Abby's going to help demonstrate the gimme a lift. No home care worker should support more than 35 pounds of their client's weight. And Abby, as a nine-year-old, weighs more than 35 pounds. On the count of three, one, two, three, lift. So how does COMPASS actually work? How do we impact the lives of home care workers? Well, we've integrated several tactics from peer-led group-based programs, and home care workers get together regularly to meet to learn together, to help each other with complicated problems that they face at work, and also to set goals to change behaviors in between meetings. And what we know now is this has a strong impact on their community of practice or their professional social network. We also produce simultaneous changes in both safety and health behaviors, including the kinds of tools you saw Abby practice earlier. So on behalf of the Oregon Healthy Workforce Center and the COMPASS program, thanks so much for watching. And if you would like more information, you can visit us on the website.